Hello fellow readers. Today I am here to talk about a book I read recently. It is a graphic novel. It's called Lena Finkel's Magic Barrel and the author's name is Anya Ulinich. And this is a graphic novel that tells the story of a woman. She is an immigrant from Russia. She came with her parents when she was quite young and grew up in Arizona and she's become an author and she lives in New York City now with her two daughters. She's been divorced and she's going through a lot of different things after her marriage breaks up and she doesn't know, you know, what she's doing with her life and she wants to find love again and so she goes on all these, you know, different adventures in dating and meeting men and trying to discover who she is and find out, you know, what path she wants to take in life and, you know, really just discover herself and find happiness. So I heard about this book from a blog. Someone was just raving about it and saying it was so fascinating, so um, interesting. It has so many layers to it, so much character development and things like that. So I decided to pick it up. I got it from the library. And also because it is a graphic novel, um, I thought, well, it'll be a pretty, you know, quick read. I can get through it so it won't be like adding another huge book to my um, list of books that I already wanted to read. It is a quite uh, a thick graphic novel. It's quite long. It's about, let's see, 361 pages. So, and the cover, I think, is just has really great artwork. And I'll show you some of the illustrations on the inside. So it's all in black and white and very artsy, very cool. Not colorful or necessarily beautiful, but I think it adds to a lot of the realism of the story and of her life and what she's feeling and going through. And one of the things that makes the story unique is she has like, um, it's not really an angel and a devil like on the shoulder, but she has like a little version of herself that kind of like sits on her shoulder and gives her commentary. And it's like it's her conscience or her inner voice or something like that and so it has some like funny little things that it says here and there so I thought that aspect was unique and I also really liked it because she is from Russia and I believe the author is also from Russia or her family is from Russia as well and so that component she does take a trip to St. Petersburg she talks about her life growing up in Russia and how that's kind of influenced her and made her question things and uh, stuff like that so it gave it that little extra element as well which I really enjoy because I'm personally you know really interested in Russia and I love the culture and I've you know studied the language and lived there and things like that so anything with an element of that immediately grabs my eye and I'm not sure how much of it is autobiographical I mean I think it is a work of fiction but the author like I said does also have Russian background she does have two daughters she does live in New York so there are some elements of that as well um, I really did enjoy the book. I, I found it a little bit slow to get started and I was contemplating like do I really want to finish this but then once I started reading it just the writing style it was so compulsive her story I got drawn into her I wanted to see you know what's going to happen to her next and how things are going to turn out and really wanting her to be happy because I feel like she's very um, down on herself and that is reflected in the art as well because you'll see like a drawing of her like, for example, in um, just her normal everyday life, you know, that's how she's drawn. She, um, you know, looks very beautiful and just, you know, like a regular woman. But if I can find, like, when she refers to herself, like, she draws herself, like, this style. So, like, very exaggerated, ugly, with, a, like, a big nose and very, like, just awkward and, you know, kind of strange looking, like a caricature. So... It kind of just shows like this is how I feel about myself this is how I see myself you know with my crazy hair and things like that so um, it was interesting how she used the art but yeah the character definitely isn't like a super happy and upbeat person all the time so if you don't like books like that or books where people kind of like are mulling things over and trying to find themselves it might not be for you but it's a graphic novel you can read it relatively quickly and fast and I got through it in through a couple of sittings so I did enjoy it it was very unique I like the cool title I like the Russian spin the artwork was cool and um, yeah if you're looking for something unique I had never heard of this book I haven't seen it all over on book blogs or on booktube or heard people talking about it so definitely check it out if you um, think it sounds like something that you would be interested in and if you like these style of stories or sort of like graphic novels that tell stories of people you know there's no superheroes I know some people think that graphic novels are just about superheroes and that's definitely not the case so check this book out and um, I will be talking about about another book in the next video.
video. So stay tuned for that and see if you can guess what the next one's going to be. And if you have read this book, I would love to hear your take on it. Or if you have other graphic novel recommendations. I love graphic novels, especially stories of people's lives and their adventures. So definitely always feel free to recommend me cool books if you know of any. All right. Thanks so much for watching. That's it for today. And I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.